Hello, this is Jessica, a coach with Knit Chats. I'm coming to you today with a tip on knitting with double point needles. Now, if you've ever tried knitting with double point needles, you know, it is more likely that you know, it's difficult to keep the same tension between the stitches between the needles here. You know, we've got some fantastic ribbing going on here. And then we've got this ugly, looser stitch right in the middle. And then we've got some great ribbing here. And this really terrible stretched out stitch. And here we've got some great ribbing. And actually my transition here isn't actually so bad. I mean, it it's noticeable, but much easier to hide than the other areas. But today I'm going to show you how I combat this. And when you get used to doing this motion, it actually goes by very quickly. You can knit with double point needles quite quickly and efficiently, which I love. I don't like to have my time wasted even by myself. So as you can see, I'm at the end of my first needle here. This is my beginning of round marker. And this is usually when you pick up your next needle and begin knitting. That's what I've been doing all the way around uh, so far on this little swatch I'm doing for you. However, this time, I'm going to show you what I do instead of picking up the other needle right away. I have 10 stitches distributed on each of these three needles. And instead of picking up my empty needle and knitting across the next needle, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to knit across uh, three to five more stitches uh, in this case, I'll probably just go ahead and do three or four. And this is four. So I have now a steady gauge across these stitches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch those four stitches back to this other needle. This usually doesn't happen, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch the other three to the other needle. So I hold my needle, my two needles parallel so that they can just kind of weasel in there and pick up those three stitches quite easily. And then I can go ahead and knit on across this needle and what this does is it keeps a nice constant gauge. So that you don't have those ladder stitches that are such a telltale marker of knitting with double points. Um, We'll go ahead and go across three stitches here. And then slip these three stitches back. This is an acrylic yarn on wood needles, so it's a little bit stickier than wool, what I like to knit with. And I have long double points as well. These ones are eight inches long, so that takes a little extra time to slide those double points, but usually, you know, I'll be knitting with five or six inch double point needles. But these ones I like to use for hats and so that we're at the end here. I hope you try this out for yourself. 
this is a fantastic way to continue your gauge. It goes by quite quickly and takes very little effort. And when you can use, you know, if you like to use all five of your double points, that just works fantastically. So, and I usually slip all three at once, but it's a little hard with the stickier yarn. And I'm a tight knitter, so that will affect how it goes as well. So we're almost here to the end of our round, back to where we start. And then I will show you how nicely that can close up those gaps. Now, it's not going to close anything up from previous rounds. So that's, you know, it's still going to be ugly. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at how nice and even that gauge is. That's going to blend in quite well and no one will be able to notice how that transition is other than in this ribbing area where you can notice quite easily. Okay, so I have been knitting this sock for a while now. And as you can see, you cannot see any of the needle transitions. If you have any questions on this technique, please be sure to ask me in the thread for this video in the Summer Camp Slack channel. Happy knitting!